Hey y'all, welcome back to another video from your girl. So today I'm going to be installing this wig by Yolissa Hair. And this is a body wave texture wig. And it is 24 inches and a 5x5 five five closure wig. So like I said, this is body wave. So it already came with the curls in it. And it also came with the knots pre-bleached. And this wig is also pre-cut. Um, and I am going to be installing this wig with my Ebon Wonder Lace adhesive spray today. I filmed this video before I even knew that there was like a boycott against Ebon. Right now there is a boycott against Ebon if y'all don't know. Um, if you don't know, just go search on TikTok Ebon Boycott and you'll see pretty much everything. So yeah, I'm going to be using it probably in this video and my next few videos because they are already recorded. But after today, I'm definitely going to be going to find me another spray to use to install my wigs. But right here, I'm just cutting the excess lace off of the wig. And I'm really disappointed in Evan because I've been using them for years. Like, I'm so disappointed. Like, <laughs> now I have to find something else. But it's okay because, honestly, I wanted to try something else anyways. So now this is just the time I'm going to have to do my research and see what else is out there that could even possibly be better so i just go ahead and i apply two layers of the spray the first layer i let it dry down completely and then the second layer i'm just gonna go ahead and add the lace into it and i'm just using my comb to press it down make sure everything is melted and then i'm taking my trust in my hairspray and spraying it on my little edge comb and i'm just using this to brush my edges up And I like to use the hairspray to spray on my lace and melt the lace even more. I like to use this better than the ebon because the ebon kind of makes it a little bit harder. But when I use the hairspray, it keeps like the edges soft still. So, yeah, and I'm just going to get this wig flat. So, I just like to part sections at the top of my hair before I hot comb it. Um, and then I take some She Is Bomb wax stick and I put that on the roots of the hair. And then I go over it with my and this hot comb and I use it on the hottest setting that it can go. The hotter, the better. The hotter it is, the flatter your wig is going to be. And this wig, I actually didn't jot dye it jet black, but is it just me or is it giving like jet black? Like. And I love a jet black wig, so I'm happy about it. But normally wigs come in like a natural brown, black color. But this wig looks really, really dark and really black. And I love it. I didn't even have to dye it jet black or anything. And if you ever have problems with getting your wig flat and you're just wondering why can't it get flat, definitely check your foundation underneath your wig. So if you have like braids underneath your wig, you want to make sure that they're flat enough so that your wig can lay flat. So I try to keep my braids small enough um, underneath because then if you do like big braids, then the wig is going to be bulky. So try to keep your bra braids really small or if you don't do braids and you just like slick your hair back, make sure that your hair is slicked back really sleek and so that there's no bulkiness on top. And I just topped it off with a little bit of hairspray just to make sure that no flyaways come up or and it just really gives it like a nice sheen and like a, a finished look. So for my baby hairs on my side parts, I kind of like for them to like form into the part. Like, do you see what I mean? Like, it's kind of just a part of the part. 
<laughs> if that makes sense. And I'm just taking some tweezers because I feel like they were a little bit too thick for my liking. So I'm just using tweezers to thin them out a little bit. And for my baby hairs, I'm just using a eyebrow razor and I'm just cutting them at a slanted angle. And then I kind of just use my scissors to clean it up a little bit, like get any cut off any excess hairs um, or cut it a little bit shorter if I need to. And I'm just using my pencil flat iron and I would link this one, but this one I got so long ago on Amazon and it's actually not even available anymore. But if you just search pencil flat iron, a bunch of different options will come up on Amazon. But I just curled the baby hairs upward and now I'm going to be using my mixture of Nairobi mousse and my Eco Styler Gel. And I just mixed the two and I used this to lay my baby hairs. And I do the same for my sideburns. These are my actual sideburns. I just curl them also. And then I take some of the Tresemme hairspray on this little edge brush. And I just lay my sideburns. I just like how this looks. I don't know. I just think it's really cute. So like I said, this hair already came with curls in it, but I kind of wanted it to be like a straight curl type of hairstyle. So I like the hair. I wanted the hair to be straighter towards the top and then it kind of just goes into a curl. So I just straightened it halfway down and I left the rest of the hair with curls and I'm just kind of touching up on the straight part. And then I'm taking this Estee Lauder foundation and I want to say it's in the color maple and I'm just using this little fluffy brush and I'm just going to add this to the lace just to get it to blend with my skin tone a little bit better. All right, y'all, so this is the end of the video, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. So this wig is by Yolissa Hair, and this is their Body Wave wig. It's a 5x5 five five closure wig, and it is 24 inches. And I get a lot of questions on how tall I am. I am 5 foot flat. But me personally, I don't really feel like how tall you are necessarily plays a role in how long your hair is going to look on you. I think that it's all in the torso. If you have a shorter torso, hair is going to look longer on you because your torso, torso is short. So it's kind of going to come to your butt a little bit longer than a person with a longer torso. But yeah, I am five foot for anybody that wants to know so the knots on this wig came pre-bleached it is also pre-plucked girls actually came in this hair as well i wanted it to be of more like straight look with curls on the ends so i just kind of straightened it like halfway there and then i just let the curls kind of just be and i think it's really cute like i love the curls the curls are so pretty and voluminous and just this hair is so good. It's so soft. Um, very minimal shading. I think that this is the first time I've actually worked with Yolissa hair. And I'm actually really pleased with the hair. It feels really, really good. It's really thick also, which I love thick hair. If y'all are interested in purchasing this wig, I will leave a link in the description box down below so you guys can go and check it out. Also, every product that I use in this video will also be linked down below in the description box. So make sure y'all go check that out. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and also turn your post notifications so that you can always be notified anytime your girl posts a video and yeah i'll definitely catch you guys in the next one